Hello, my friends. Happy weekend. I'm here to read you another wonderful bedtime story. Um, as I, as we go through and we enter, I think it's week three, week two, week three. I'm not quite sure where we're at <laughs> with everything. Um, I am in my pajamas before you ask because it has been a pajama type of day. I don't know about you, but it's super rainy. It's the weekend and I wanted to stay inside. So it kind of felt like a pajamas all day type of day. <laughs> Today we are reading a new book that I picked up at Target. I believe it is a Target exclusive, so I think you can only buy it that, there. But it is called Little Joe Chick a Pig, a story about following your dreams. And it was written by Brian Calhoun, illustrations by Pat Bradley and Brian Calhoun. And it was published in 2018 by Studio Fun International. Now, I heard that there is a video game that this is also related to. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it is a very cute book that I wanted to share with you all and to help remind you to follow your dreams no matter what age you are. They use the phrase chick -a pig in this book a lot. And thankfully... They actually define it in the front for us. So a chick -a pig noun, chick -a pig plural noun, chick -a pigs an animal hybrid that's half chicken and half pig. And before any of my students ask, I can guarantee you this does not exist in real life. This only exists in the world of imagination. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's read this book together, shall we? <clears throat> Little Joe Chicka Pig lived on a farm, a farm full of chicka pigs and chicka pig charm. For Little Joe Chicka Pig, still just a boy, the farm full of chicka pigs brought him no joy. He dreamed of new places beyond the fields, sailing vast oceans with swords and with shields. He hoped he'd find courage to follow his heart, but how could he do it? How could he start? The chicka pig farm was all that he knew, with its crops and fields and cows that pooed, and his birds and beads and horses and goats. Why was he dreaming of castles and moats? Joe had an old grandpa, brave and bold, a chicka pig hero who broke the mold. Joe had an old grandpa, a sailor of seas, a chicka pig hero who lived so free. But how? How did he go? How did he do it? And how did he know to follow his cart against the tide? How did he do it? The young chicka pig cried. I'll tell you a tale, his mother said. I'll tell a tale before I put you to bed. Grandpa back then, he was scared too. Grandpa back then, he did not know what to do. Grandpa had heard a story told of a great big bear who broke the mold. The bear was tired of striking fear in all who saw him and all who came near. The bear had learned quite a skill to heal the sick and those struck ill. A doctor he became my son to heal the wounds of everyone and those who used to run away now stood before him every day. The bear saw patients one by one. Never again would anyone run. The bear became a friend, you see, to every creature beneath the trees. But how, how, how did he go? How did he do it and how did he know to follow his heart against the tide? How did he do it? The young chickapig cried. The bear found courage from the strangest place. 
He heard of a mouse who went to space. The mouse, she traveled to the moon and Mars. The mouse, she traveled amongst the stars. Her ship, it soared from Earth to space. But in that world, she found her place. But how? How? How did she go? How did she do it? How did she know? To follow her heart against the tide. How did she do it? The young chicka pig cried. The mouse she heard a story told of a fierce young dragon, brave and bold. The dragon was known across the land. She gave up her kingdom to join a band. She sang her song. She strummed her guitar. Her music was heard both near and far. But how? How? How did she go? How did she do it? And how did she know? To follow her heart against the tide? How did she do it? The young chicka pig cried. There was a warrior from that land, back before the dragon's band. He was a chicka pig just like you, filled with wonder and feeling blue. Tired of shields and swords to wield, he laid down his weapons and planted a field. The chicka pig farm became all that he knew, with its crops and fields and cows that pooed and birds and bees and horses and goats, and never a thought of castles or moats. Now, Joe, my child, I hope you will see, follow your dreams, whatever they be, and one day in the future, when you are old, your very own story just might be told. All right, friends. That was Little Joe P Chicka Pig, a story about following your dreams. And I hope it reminds you that no matter what your dream is, no matter how big or how small or how goofy some people might think it is, it's your job to go out there and get it. And people will support you and love you along the way. I hope you're having an excellent weekend. I can't wait to see you all on Zoom next week. I miss you all so much. Have an excellent rest of your weekend, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye, my friends.